how are you my friends this uh, video is presenting eight old exams questions related to polynomials function from lecture 35 of the algebra course now question number one we have the function here with a bracket x plus 4 x squared plus 2x plus 1 3 minus x it has this graph here and said find a reasonable value for a so this is a multiple choice. A can be half maybe or two or one over four or minus one or one third. You have to look at the uh, degree here. You see the far left, far right means the end behavior. Far right, far left. So this is up to the right, up to the left. So this one we can see power, the degree is four. So that's yes, up to the right, up to the left. We have a minus here, minus one. See in the X coefficient here, plus one here, plus one. So there is minus a in the coefficient. So what is a reasonable? Reasonable is minus one. Because minus one, if you multiply minus one, if you put minus one in the a, it becomes plus. Because it's up to the right, up to the left, and the leading coefficient should be positive. So the answer is d. You see here, minus one. Easy question. Find the real zeros. Function one here, one, two, three. The real zeros directly we go to let p of x is equal to zero. So I put it here on one slide because it's not difficult. Just you be careful about factoring. Here we factor x4 minus 3x squared minus 4, x squared plus 1, x squared minus 4. We can factor this into real numbers, but we cannot factor this in the real numbers, x squared plus 1. That's plus or minus i, if you remember in the complex so we leave it so the zeros here are only two minus two real zeros i'm looking about real zeros see almost the same function here x power four i change the coefficients if i put minus five x squared plus four this becomes x squared minus one x squared minus four this one we can factor this one we can factor so we have one minus one two minus two four real zeros just by changing some numbers here now this one to find the zeros, as I mentioned, let p of x is equal to zero, multiply by eight. See, this eight does not affect here. See one over eight here, does not affect on the zeros. So we multiply by eight both sides, you get this equation. And then inside you factor it, you see? Factoring by grouping. I left it for you, so easy to factor. Two x plus three, x cubed minus eight. See, when you multiply these, you get this one here, right? And then you distribute the power two. So two X plus three squared. This one we can factor difference between two cubes, X minus two squared, X squared plus two X plus four. This is complex. We have seen before. So we have here two, a real zero repeated two times and minus three over two. So there, there are two zeros repeated each one two times when you graph it it is tangent to the x now this one by intermediate value theorem also we have mcq we have a polynomial function of degree 4 2x4 minus 4x squared plus 4x minus 8 it has a real zero at least one real zero between minus 1 and 0 1 and 2 3 and 4 0 and 1 2 and 3 you have to check unfortunately see these are the numbers a and b remember a and b a and b you have to find where the images f of a f of b are opposite in sign this is what we have to do see what i did here i found all these numbers f of minus one f of zero f of one just replace it in the function i found f of two f of three f of four when I found f of 2 positive 16, f of 3 will be bigger, you see? So I left it as positive, f of 4 positive. Because I don't need the value, I need the sign. So where are the two images? f of 1 is minus 6, you see that? f of 2 is 16. So between them, between 1 and 2, at least we have one real 0. The graph will cross the x-axis. Now this one is ready, already factored, x power 4, x minus 2 cubed, x plus 1 squared, 
Let's find the simple stuff here, A, B, C, D. Find the degree, find the end behavior, where the graph is tangent, where the graph is crossing the X. C degree, you add all the highest power in each factor. So when you need the degree, it is nine. See, this is four, three, and two. Four, three, and two is nine, the degree is nine. So that's odd. The leading coefficient is plus one. So this is like the cube down to the left, up to the right. Tangent where? Where we have k, you know, multiplicity, k is even. So greatest k is even here. At zero, we have even. At minus one, we have even. So at zero and minus one, k is even. So that's tangent. See, this is even here. Odd, we have x minus two cubed. So the graph will cross the x-axis at x equals two. Let's also describe the end behavior of this function. We have also to find the degree and the leading coefficient. Be careful about the power. Also find the number of real zeros. How many x intercept this function will have. Now, if you look at the solution of question number five, we see that the function is already factored. If we need the degree, this is the sum of the highest power in each factor, there is a one here. So we add one and the power here, x squared and then squared, it will be four and then x squared will be two. So that will be seven, the degree is seven. The leading coefficient is the product of all leading coefficients. So it's minus two, see minus two, there is a one here and there is a one also with the x and there is a one here. So minus two times one times one times one will be minus two. So the end behavior of the graph would be up to the left, down to the right. This is like minus x cubed. To find the uh, real zeros, we factor more. See, we can hear difference between two squares. So it will be x minus one, x plus one, each one squared. And this one we cannot factor in the real numbers. This is plus or minus i. So what are the three real zeros? Zero, one, and minus one. Now, question number six is almost the same idea. We have another function, nice function here. Let's find the degree, let's find the leading coefficient. Let's find where the graph is tangent to the X and where the graph will be crossing the X axis. So the degree, we add the sum. So this is power three, power four, power one, power two. So the degree is 10 here. The leading coefficient, we multiply minus nine here. There is a one there, there is a minus three there, and there is a one here. So it will be 27. So this is the leading coefficient. And then where the graph is tangent to the X, where K is even. So X plus three power four, X minus six power two. So at minus three and then at six, it is tangent. Crossing at zero and two because this one is the degree, K is odd, multiplicity. Now the graph of this function, X minus four cubed, X plus three squared is above the X axis. Just choose the correct answer. You have to graph it, sketch it roughly. See, this is already factored. So directly we can find the zeros. X equals four, X equals minus three. See four and minus three. The degree is five and the leading coefficient is one. So this is like the cube. See, we know at minus three, see this is minus three tangent. At four, it will be crossing. So it will be like this, the cubic, see the cubic, similar. It will go down, 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 down. It will be at minus three tangent. So that's a rough sketch. So and behavior down to the left, up to the right. This is like the cube. No need for any point. Now where the graph is above the X, here is above the X from four open to infinity. Now the graph is not easy, but we need to sketch it. So the graph is going like the cube. It goes down, 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 down. We don't know where. And then it will come back to minus three tangent. It will come back down because the minus X plus three is squared on the power. Same idea for number eight. X minus one squared, X minus two squared, X plus one. That's even, that's even, that's odd. Now where X greater than or equal to zero? What do you mean here, greater than or equal to zero? It means 
on the right side of the y-axis in quadrant uh, one and four, see the function here we see increasing, decreasing, above the x, above or on the x, below the x. So you have to graph it roughly. So you find the zeros, minus one, one, and two. The degree here is five, and the leading coefficient is one. So this is also like the cube. But so the graph is coming like this. It will go up also for some number, and then it will come down. See, at minus one, because the power here is odd, it will cross at minus one. One and two, it's tangent. So tangent at two, it will go up. We don't know how much it goes up. And then tangent at one, it will go up and then come crossing at minus one. No need here also for extra points. Now, on the x greater than or equal to zero, that means from zero to infinity. This side here, what is happening? The right side, right of the y-axis. So the graph is above or on the x, on the x at one, on the x at two, or above. So the answer is D. Now here are the answers that you have seen in the questions one to eight. For more examples, please, you can see the video on the algebra course itself, lecture 35, polynomial functions. More examples and explanations are there. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it, please, with your friends. I wish I can see you in another video with another topic. Thank you very much.